California has a quake at the Lavik volcano fields. It rocks with a magnitude 2.8 earthquake. It's at Northridge, California, which is just a little bit south of the center of the Long Valley caldera. This area has seen a 3.0 magnitude just a few weeks ago in January in Northridge again. And we'll see a map on Google Earth to see the terrain. It seems to be a field surrounded by volcanic mountains. So let's take a, take a look. Not far from that is, of course, the Pisgah Crater. This is the image we're seeing now. And these are the mountains around that area. And uh, they have earthquake swarms there. That's near Ludlow, California. They're having earthquake swarms and uh, increased activity since February 6th, if, we, if I remember correctly. Also, we have earthquake swarms in Yellowstone. The geologists are concerned because they have even tiny quakes, swarms of tiny quakes, and um, they want to find out why this is taking place. It could be because of the lake, Yellowstone Lake waves, creating seismic uh, energy there, but we'll, that's another. We'll, you can see the previous video to this one. Let's just take a look at what's where the Northridge area is. Okay, here we are at this wonderful map. Um, this is uh, 6:42 weather, and I like this map because it uh, shows us a fast image of the earthquake swarms in numbers. And the blue is a cluster, red is over four, and uh, yellow clusters are under two. Green is Long Beach, Washington. All right. But that's 20. We've had a 20, 20 uh, swarms in, uh, quake swarms in Hawaii. That's Hawaii is rocking. But let's go back to, who's that red? There's something red there. 101 in Alaska, okay. Um, Alaska, we know this. that's the Aleutian Islands, which are all volcanic there, and um, in Mexico. But that's another issue. Now we're going to, you see Yellowstone, and all along here we've had earthquake, earthquake swarms, clusters. And uh, and let's go to the Los Angeles area. This is it here. Okay, this is our area where we had the earthquake. Let's just go back to this here, this is USGS Volcanoes, and this is uh, Salt Lake, Wyoming, this is Yellowstone. And uh, this is five days ago, four magnitude, that's pretty big. And this is around the area. This is today's three magnitude. And we can see here, it's in the Coastal volcanic field. Ubibi craters. And this is Mono Lake volcanic field. All these are volcanoes. And this is, this area here is Long Valley caldera. This is Long Valley caldera not far at all from uh, Yellowstone, as we see. All right, magnitude 3.4. St. Lucas, California. So, you know, this, this is uh, 
the whole the whole West Coast, obviously, no, is Long Valley Caldera. Okay, that's the boundary of it. Uh, we'll see the terrain there later, but it's, uh, we'll see that uh, the Northridge uh, earthquake is in basically surrounded by volcanoes. But we look, we see these beautiful things around us. We see beautiful mountains and lakes and valleys and greenery and a paradise on earth. But we don't really know what lies underneath and what's happening. Now, all this is, as you can see, all these things are volcanoes. All these things are volcanoes, and let alone the uh, the super volcanoes. This is here, Long Valley, and this is here, Yellowstone. Yesterday we had Southwest Wyoming. We had a quake swarm. And then we, that was followed by another quake swarm just north of Pisgah Crater, which lies between four magnitude, that's near Pisgah, between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Okay, now this is 3.0 magnitude, Lavic Lake. This was what happened in uh, Northridge uh, about a month ago. January 12, 2019, and it had, as you can see, three uh, magnitude in the middle, and it had, of course, light shaking on the sides. And uh, if we go to our Google map, and this is Northridge, the letters, I'm sorry, I live in Greece, so the letters are in Greek, and I just pinned Northridge there for you. And let's pull out. You can see, this is a beautiful area, and I mean, if you go in, there's even uh, Christian Orthodox churches there. There must be a lot of Greeks living there. I myself am Greek American Canadian. Now, okay, this is, you can see the beautiful valley and they've got some lakes. And, uh, and if you pull out, you see it's surrounded by these beautiful mountains, which are of course, uh, at the flanks of the Long Valley Caldera. And here, there's Pisgah Crater. And how far is that? Let's see, let's measure that from, for just reference. Um, it's about 125 miles, about an hour's drive. Hours, I'm sorry, two hours drive, okay, across the, uh, the, the volcanic field. Okay, the, the San Bernardino Mountains here. No, wait, the San Bernardino are on the other side of Pisgah Crater. This here is a, is, a, is a volcanic field. San Bernardino Mountains, and you have, uh, this is where you had the earthquake swarm yesterday going on a tangent pointing towards Yellowstone. Here. Here. So yesterday you had six or seven quakes going directly this way in a straight line, uh, right around these mountains, where these mountains are. You know, they usually go around uh, along the fault lines. And uh, the day before you had them in uh, southwestern Wyoming right here again around the mountains. And not only that, but you had earthquake swarms around here in Montana, again around the fault lines, let alone the swarms on in Yellowstone. Uh, if you look at the video before this one, you'll see that they, the USGS geologists, seismologists, are very concerned about the quake swarms there, the tremors, they call them tremors. They have very, very sensitive uh, machinery uh, our friend Ben Fiorullo, who does wonderful videos on this, posts them every two days. He's kind enough to have them as Creative Commons. And I, I use, um, for our benefit, uh, I post them as well. Um, he made a video concerning the UNIVAC monitors, the, the seismographs that they have. They can measure the movement of a, a split fraction of a human hair. That's how sensitive they are. Very sensitive. Well, um, the thing is that they've noticed that Yellowstone, let's pan into this wonderful map, 
has a wonderful lake in the middle. There it is. We can see it's coming. That's Yellowstone Lake. And it's not small. Not at all small. Uh, and uh, there's a, a tremendous amount of uh, magma here, two magma chambers, and um, carbon lakes underneath this. Lakes. Lakes underneath, magma chambers underneath, magma underneath, and the water on top. And the geologists believe that the wave motion of the water on top on the lake uh, is strong enough to create little tremors. There we go, Yellowstone Lake. Okay, and uh, the waves there, especially in the summer when the, way the lake is not frozen over and solid, give um, tremors to the uh, supervolcano, which is not good because of the fact that uh, in 1959 it had a 7.1 earthquake and they say that Yellowstone will be uh, shaking because of that for decades to come. And, um, and a supervolcano does not act like a regular volcano in that its caldera is bigger and the roof is bigger, so the structure of it is more sensitive. For example, a nearby earthquake can crack the roof of the supervolcano's magma chamber and cause an eruption. And now, the geologists here in Yellowstone are not afraid of an eruption, they're afraid of an earthquake. And they said the earthquake it could be 7.0 and it could be devastating because it could keep rocking and uh, you know it's not it's no small amount of sulfur dioxide being cast out <laughs> every year from here um, okay let's pan back so Northridge is in a volcanic field I went back too far sorry um, it's in a volcanic field uh, close to the boundary of Long Valley Caldera, which is another supervolcano. And we've been seeing earthquake swarms these past few days, especially in this area here. They started uh, September 7th, if I remember correctly, and they're still ongoing. Okay, so I just wanted to leave you with that. Uh, you have to be careful, all of you who are living out there, please be careful, please have extra things in your car with you, batteries, uh, char phone chargers, uh, water, blankets, I don't know, something, just uh, to keep you warm over the night, just in case there's a bigger tremor. I don't know what to say, because I live in a country that has earthquakes too, but our earthquakes are very strong, most of the time it's bad. Okay. Um, so, God bless you and protect you always. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition 
and the community around our church. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.